This is Devin Croswell with Sherpa Design, and today we're going to take a look at a tool that is new to NX2412. This is a selection command called Select Similar Edges, and this command can be found on the Selection tab. So up here in the Action area, there's a More pull down, and it's grouped in with the Select Similar Components, Select Similar Faces, and now we have select similar edges. And one of the reasons I might want to use this is the example I have in front of me where I've opened up a part, which is just simply an imported geometry, imported body from another program perhaps. And I want to modify these holes a little bit. I'm gonna add some chamfers, but I wanna do so on a specific size of the holes that are in this body, only I don't have any data, I don't have any features to help me tell which holes to add the chamfers to. And I don't want to use the measure command and measure all of these holes individually and then go around and add the chamfers. It's gonna take a really long time. And so what I can do is I can add the chamfers all at once, two holes of a certain size with the help of select similar edges. So if I jump into that command, I'm in the dialog here and it's looking for an edge to compare or find similar edges from. So let's say I wanna add the chamfer to this hole size here, and it'll find both top and bottom of all the holes on this panel. And then I will search wherever I want the scope to be, whether it's an assembly operation, um, work part and components, but maybe not necessarily the assembly, uh, inside the assembly if I have things going on in there or the work part only. In this case, this isn't an assembly, so we're just looking in the work part, and I'll go ahead and search. Now it has found a lot of holes, a lot of similar edges, and if I zoom in on some of these, you'll notice that it's basically grabbing all of these circular edges, whether the size is the same or not. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, maybe in some situation that would be helpful, but in this case, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. And so if I expand my settings here, I can show and hide those visual tags, but I can also check on identical edges. So it's not on by default, but if I am looking for an operation that is going to occur on a specific edge, and I want every identical edge on this body to follow that, then I'm gonna check this on. So I am gonna check that on for this operation, get rid of those visual tags, and then I will click OK. And I have all those edges, all those similar edges selected. And now I can go to my Home tab, enter into the chamfer command, and pick an appropriate size to add chamfers to all these holes. Then click OK, and I now have a chamfer on a specific size hole, and I didn't have to you know, find out which hole in each of these locations is the right size for what I'm trying to do. And I did that using the select similar edges command from the selection tab in NX2412.